Trish with Crafting Cousins times two. Thanks so much for stopping by our channel. If you're new here, we hope that you will subscribe by clicking on the little button below. If you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will let you know every time we upload new content based on the option that you choose. For today's Trash to Treasure Thursday, I thought we would do something a little bit different. For the first time in two months, I was actually able to go to the thrift store yesterday. I had to go into town and Goodwill Outlet was just way too tempting. Don't worry though, I had my mask with me as well as my hand sanitizer and there was even an employee at the door when you came through who took your temperature and she was sanitizing the buggies before she handed them off. There was probably only about six other people in the whole store and no one got remotely close to each other so I'm sure we were all okay. I headed straight over to the home goods division and wow, I found so much good stuff. So I thought that today I would start us off with a haul. Maybe give you an idea of how my mind works when I'm in a thrift store. Don't worry though, we're still going to do a craft at the end of the video. I actually have a Kirkland's dupe for you. So let me grab my stuff and we'll get started. typically do hauls that's Kay's forte she's really good at it but I was so excited about all the things that I found I wanted to share them with you and there's a lot of it so I'm gonna go pretty fast because I do want to do the craft at the end of the video or the Kirkland's dupe okay so we'll get started with this stack of books I got these at the outlet when I was there yesterday I bought six of them they're all hardcover um, when they were at the regular Goodwill, they sold for $2.49 each, but they sell them for $0.49 cent a piece at my outlet, and I'm going to use them to make the stack books. I think I'm going to do a set for the 4th of July, and then maybe a set for the Christmas holidays. I'm not sure yet, but I picked these up, so I'm real thrilled with those. I want to show you these wreaths that I got. Now, this one... I know you don't have to tell me it's absolutely hideous and they wanted five dollars for this thing at the regular Goodwill but I got it for 79 cents now I don't care anything at all about this mesh that's on here or these flowers because they're pretty beat up and I don't think they can be reused what I wanted was this sign I love this little welcome sign and I know that I can paint it and reuse it and there's these little um, metal flowers on here i love those too now the rest of it there is one of the metal forms in here and i know how i can take it apart and use it for a project that i have in mind that i'm wanting to make with you guys so that was 79 cent and that's what i'll be using out of it and that was how my mind worked with it now this one i don't see a price on it from when it was at the regular goodwill store um it's very beat up but I got it for, oh here it is, It was they wanted $2 for it at the regular Goodwill store. And that kind of tells you how beat up it is because no one took it. Um, but I don't care. I'm going to take this greenery off of here and I'm going to rework this and I have an idea for this. And it's still going to be a great vine wreath, but I have an idea of how to spruce it up. And I paid, they weighed this one, so I probably paid about $0.40 cent for it. That's the way ours works. If it's home goods, if it's heavy, they will put a price on it. If it's not heavy, they weigh it just like they do their clothes, and it's $1.49 a pound. So this was the other wreath that I got. Um, it is Christmas, and it may go back to being a Christmas wreath at some point. I'm not sure. But Kay and I are working on our 4th of July party, and we're going to be using some of this garland to go around the doors. Of course, we'll have the red, white, and blue in it, but we're using some of this, so I thought that could be used for that. And then there's another one of these wire wreath forms in here that I can use for something else. So I did pay for this one. I don't see the price tag on it. I think it was like 99 cents. Now we're going to start, oh wait, let me show you my canvases. I got this canvas. 
it's a very big one i think it had yeah you can tell it had this decorative piece on both ends and now it's only on one so it hung sideways um i didn't get it for the picture i'm going to completely redo this i will either paint this canvas and do something with it that way or i will take it apart and use the frame and I may or may not keep this. I may turn it this way and do like a welcome sign and keep this piece on it. I'm not sure, but I know I can do something with it. And I paid a dollar and forty nine cent for this, and they wanted eight dollars at the regular Goodwill store. Now the other canvas that I got is twenty four inches by twenty four inches. This thing is huge. They wanted ten dollars for it at the regular Goodwill store, but I got it for a dollar forty nine at the outlet. Um, again, I mean, this picture's not so bad. I, I love sunflowers. It just doesn't fit into my home. So, I will either repaint this, but I don't think that's what I'm going to do. When I looked at this, and I saw this frame in it, I knew I had to have it. I can see a faux window with this. I can see decorating it with some florals and... I, I just have all kinds of things in mind. So this is one that you're going to end up seeing for sure on a Trash to Treasure because I love that one. Now we're going to start on our boxes. Um, we'll start with this one. I got this while I was there. It is metal and it's black. This is what you use whenever you have a party. You put like a, a flat bowl or a tray of some kind in the bottom and then you can put a bowl in the top and put like chips and dip. And I knew this was going to work really well for Kay and I's party. I will probably spray paint it um, either the hammered metal color or a bronze something. I don't know. We'll see. I also got this huge tray. And it was regular $1.99 at the regular Goodwill. But they weighed it and it weighs nothing. So I probably paid about $0.30 cent for it. This is not going to stay a tray. I have a project in mind for this. And I'm very excited. I had been looking for something that was big like this. So that's going to work for that. First thing I have is this little sign. Um, it was $2.99 at the regular Goodwill. Again, they weighed it. It doesn't weigh very much. It's not going to stay like this. I'll use it for something else. You know, I'm always making signs. So even if I don't do a video on it, it'll be something that I'll use at a craft fair. I got this thing here that was weighed. It doesn't weigh very much. I love this thing. I love how it spreads out and I already know what I'm doing with this but I don't want to tell you because it's going to be a trash to treasure. Um, but it will be painted and I'm in love with this thing. I think it's so cool. Then I have this star. This is like um, it's almost like a vine I guess. A vine wrapped star and I love this. I know it goes on top of a Christmas tree. That's not what I'm going to use it for. Again it'll be used some way in our 4th of July decorations. They wanted a dollar ninety nine for it at the regular Goodwill but of course again I didn't pay that for it. I also got this little shadow box. They were asking three dollars for it and that's probably why it didn't sell. Um, again, I will strip everything out of it. I have a project in mind for this, but I'm not exactly sure. But it'll still be a shadow box. It's just going to be a different kind of shadow box. I got these two ball mason jars. They were $0.89. Cent. They had wanted $3 for them at the regular Goodwill. That's what kills me about Goodwill sometimes. They have went up so much on their prices. You can get mason jars at the Dollar Tree, but they wanted three dollars for these two. They didn't sell, so I got the two for 89, yeah, 89 cents. I also got this cute little heart. Um, they had asked 89 cents for it at the regular Goodwill, and it didn't sell. I'm not surprised. You can get these little wood things all day long at Hobby Lobby for like 60 cents. So, I'll be using that in some project. I also found this little bag of sticks. And they're like the little popsicle sticks, but they're really small. They're very thin. And they had asked 89 cents for them. They didn't sell. Obviously, a crafter didn't come through there because I can see using these as support on the back of some of my signs. So, yep, snatched it up. Then I got this star. Again, I know it goes on top of a Christmas tree. It is an LED um, star, so it lights up. And again, it's going to be used some way in the 4th of July. 
we are going to be doing videos leading up to the 4th of July show and all the um, decorations that we're making and the home decor and stuff. And then the week of the 4th of July, we are going to go crazy with it. We're going to show y'all the whole house put together. We're going to show y'all the party and everything. So you'll see all of this in some way or another. I also found this tray. It says Melissa and Doug, and it's got a registered mark. So I'm assuming that that is actually the brand of it. I love this tray. Oh, yeah, it is back here. Melissa and Doug.com. So I love this tray. It weighs nothing. I probably paid 30 cents for it, and I already know what I'm going to do with this. I'll just give you a hint. It's going to be a sign. It's not going to be a tray, but come back and you'll see it in a later video. Let me okay, and we're back. I found this cute little wire basket. They had only asked 89 cents for it at the regular Goodwill, so I'm honestly surprised that it didn't sell. And it could be because of the pandemic, all the thrift stores have been closed. So they haven't been able to sell anything. They were probably overwhelmed because sometimes that's what happens at the Goodwill outlet. If the regular Goodwills don't have a chance to sort through and sell things, they will send it on. But this actually has a price tag. So maybe it had just been put in there before the pandemic and it you know, didn't sell. They sent it out. I don't know. Anyway, now it's my treasure and I'll find something to do with that. I also got this little brass bucket. Um, it won't stay brass. I don't have brass in my house, really. I will do something with it. Probably put flowers in it. I, I like it. So, there's that. I found this piece here. And I'm in love with this piece. I know it hangs over the door and you're supposed to put something in it. But I'm not really sure what it's for, but you know I've already got my mind working. I'm going to use this some way, probably mounted to a board, um, maybe florals. I don't know. We'll see. It'll show back up in a trash to treasure, I promise. I also got this wreath hanger, and I know that it's brass, and I probably wouldn't have got it. It was only $0.59 cent at the regular Goodwill. It, it, if it cost me a dime, I'm really surprised because it weighs nothing. But Kay brought a wreath hanger with me, with her when she came. And it's brass like this and it has a star on it. So I'm sure I'm going to add a star to this and make it match the one that she brought. Because I have French doors going out to the backyard and we're going to have wreaths on those. I also found this brass bowl that I just love. I... I don't know. I really like it. It was $2.99 at the regular Goodwill. I will probably end up painting it. And I don't know. Maybe florals. Maybe a tray. I don't know. I may put a tray on it and have a raised tray. We'll see. I, I've got something in mind. I also found this candle holder. They wanted $4 for it at Goodwill. Doesn't weigh much. Less than a dollar. I do want to figure out how to get this... Um, this thing here in the middle that holds the candle. I want to figure out how to get that. So if you know a good way to get it out, drop a comment below and let me know because I want to take this out. I do want to use this for a tray. I'm going to paint it and do maybe a stacked tray. I'm not sure, but I do want to use that. Then I also found this one. Um, it is also a candle holder. Thank goodness it doesn't have that thing sticking in the middle of it. I love this. It is a heavy metal. Um, they wanted $4.99 for it at the regular Goodwill. I paid $0.59 cent for it because since it was heavier, she took it out and just gave me a price. And I will prob I may use it for a candle. I may um, paint it and do some kind of floral thing on it. I may use it for a tray. I'm not sure. Come back and you'll find out. I fell in love with this piece. I know it's it needs to be tightened up. It's all twisted around and stuff. I will fix all of that. And I'm going to paint this. Does this not remind you of Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast? I love this so much. I'm going to paint it. I think I'm going to take these little cups off of it. Ended up making a bird feeder out of it to hang outside. We live out in the country. We get lots of birds. I love this. Then I found this mirror that they had asked $2.99 for. Now this is heavy. I don't know if this is concrete or plaster or what, but it is very heavy. It has the felt backing. They wanted $2.99 for it at the regular Goodwill. I got it for $0.99. Cent. I'm probably going to take it apart. 
I may end up using it, painting it, and using it as it is, but I doubt it. I have an idea for this mirror, and I had been looking for a little mirror. So, yeah, I had looked at our Dollar Trees, and I couldn't find one there. So, that one is probably what's going to happen. I also found this cooling rack. They had wanted 59 cents for it at the regular Goodwill. If I paid a nickel for it, I'll be surprised because if it even registered on the scale, I would be surprised. Um, I kind of have an idea for this, guys, and it's going to show up in a Trash to Treasure maybe even soon. Now, this is my favorite piece that I found. This is a lamp post top. You can tell that it was wired in. I don't know if this part works. I don't care if this part works because it's going to have a candle in it. But I'm going to make something for outside with this. I already have it built out in my mind. And it's definitely going to be coming up soon in a Trash to Treasure. Maybe even next week if I can get everything together to make it. So that's all in this box. We have one more. Let me box this up and I'll be right back. This is our third and last box. I got this little pack of hearts. They're little puffy hearts, heart picks. They had asked 89 cents for them at the regular store. They didn't get it. Again, it weighs nothing. So, you know, maybe 10 cents, 25 cents, I don't know. I will use these at some point. If I don't use them before, I'll use them next Valentine's Day. But you can use hearts any time of the year. It doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. I also got these hair rollers. I know they sell these at the Dollar Tree. And they had wanted a dollar forty-nine for them at the regular Goodwill store. Uh, hello, that's why you didn't sell them. You get them all day long at the Dollar Tree. But they didn't cost me but like a quarter, maybe. And I have a project in mind for these. I know something I'm going to do with them, so they'll show up on the Trash to Treasure. I also got this pack of um, rosettes. They're made, they call them maple leaf rosettes and it says that it's for the window dimensions rod system and you can see on the back that it actually goes on the end of curtain rods but that's not what I'm going to use them for. Fall will be here before you know it and I know these are going to come in handy for a project for the fall. This is also kind of the same thing. I haven't opened this bag yet. I could kind of see in it. They wanted $1.99 for these. Not surprised they didn't sell. These were napkin rings, um, and they're also leaves. They're kind of got that rusty look. I will take these rings off of these. They're not going to be napkin rings at my house. I'll end up using them for a fall project. I know I will. They had wanted a dollar ninety nine for them. Then there was this <laughs> this beautiful cross stitch piece. And don't get me wrong, whoever did this has a lot of time in this. And I'm sure it was a beloved piece. Um, Goodwill had wanted $1.99 for it. It probably cost me about $0.50, cent, maybe $0.75. Cent, I'm not sure. But what I want is this hoop. I want the wire hoop. I don't care anything at all about the rest of this. I just want that hoop. I have a project in mind. It's going to show up. Now these, I could not resist. This was a bag of Christmas balls. They wanted $2.99 for it at the regular Goodwill. It didn't sell, but there, I don't know if you can tell, but there are blue Christmas balls in there. There are red. There's a bunch of them that have glitter. Um, there's some silver that could stand in for the white. And then there's these gorgeous red glitter stars inside of it too. These will be used in the decorations that Kay and I are doing. We're going to have some stuff around the doors, and this is going to be used for that. I know it will be. Then I got these two cornucopia baskets. They had asked $1.49 for them. They didn't get it, so they sent it on to the outlet. They don't weigh very much, um, less than a dollar, maybe 50 cents, I don't know. These will come in handy for Thanksgiving, the fall season as well. Just like these florals. I found these florals there. They don't cost very much. They had asked $2 a piece for them. They didn't get it. This one probably came from the Dollar Tree, if you want to know the truth about it. And I will use these for some fall projects. This I love. And I know it's Christmas. I know, I know. But you got to have an open mind. Because at Christmas, this stuff's not going to be here. People are going to be trying to get stuff for their home. And then they're going to be looking at this saying, oh, yeah, I can do so-and-so with it. Now's the time to look at it and say, oh yeah, I can make something out of that. 
So this will show up for the holidays. We will paint that. I don't do gold at my house. And then last but not least is this Easter Bunny sign. He may not need anything. I just love him. So he'll come out next Easter if, if I don't do something with him between now and then. Or if I change him up for next Easter, y'all will be the ones to see. But I got my Easter Bunny sign. And that is all of my haul from the Goodwill Outlet. Y'all, I was in there about 30 minutes and I found all this stuff. And there was even other stuff that I had to make myself put up. <laughs> so this isn't something that we'll do every week. Y'all know I don't do hauls. And now it's time for us to go and do our Kirkland's dupe. So give me a second to put this up and we'll get started on that. I love looking at home decor online. I was on the Kirkland's website and I saw this bottle vase that's light blue and had blessed on it. I love the vase, but I didn't want to pay $29 for it. It reminded me of a bottle that we had left last year from some Amaretta. I loved how decorative the bottle was and I kept it, not really knowing what I was going to do with it at the time. When I saw the one on Kirkland's, I thought, I could make a version of that. It won't be exact, but it's going to be close. The first thing I needed to do was get a cross. So I googled for a decorative cross, with a scroll cross I think is what I actually put in there, and I found one that I liked. But it was a little too decorative. So I pulled up the picture on my phone, I held a piece of paper over it, and the light from the phone made the photo come through the paper and I was able to scratch around and get the basic dimensions for the cross. Then I just played with my pencil. I went and I did some swirly things in it and this is what I came up with. I cut it out. If you want to use this particular cross, please let me know. Drop a comment below. Give me your email address or you can email us. Our email is below and I'll be happy to send you the JPEG for the one that I drew. Um, but you can use any cross that you want to on this. You're really just wanting something to give you some dimension on the bottle. I'm going to be painting the bottle, but before I do that, I'm going to adhere my cross to the bottle with some Mod Podge. I don't want to put it on top of it because I'm going to use hot glue and do my little swirlies to give it some dimension, but I do want to make sure that it sticks to my bottle. My cross is now attached. I did not use a lot of the Mod Podge on it and I tried to make sure I didn't get any on the top of the paper because I want to try to outline this with hot glue to give it some dimension. Now my fine tip glue gun is missing or broke or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to attempt to do it with this little one. We will see. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want it to give the dimension of the cross under the paint. hot glue is dry and it actually worked the way I want it to. Now in the really intricate parts where there's a lot of squirrel swirlies it did kind of bleed together and that's because I didn't have my fine tip um, glue gun to use. If you had one I think that would work so much better but it's still going to give me the dimension and it gives me the outline of the cross so I'm really pleased with how that turned out. Now to paint it that light blue color I want to use chalk paint because I think that'll stick to my glass better but all I have right now is the ivory. I do have some sage and different colors like that but I don't have any blue. So I took my ivory chalk paint and I mixed it with some of this skyline folk art paint. It's acrylic and it gave me this really pretty light blue color and that's what I'm going to paint my bottle with. So now we're just going to put a coat of paint all over our bottle. Now my bottle's dry. You can see that I have the outline of my cross on it and I'm pretty pleased with it. I do have some areas where it's already distressed um, where the paint had come off a little bit and I don't mind that because I'm actually about to distress it after we add our wording. To do our word blessed, I went and typed it up on the computer and printed it out and then cut out the little piece of paper. I want it to go right here at the bottom. 
So I'm going to use the technique that we used in grade school. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to scribble over the back really well. Make sure that you cover all of your letters that you're going to be drawing. And then when we turn it over, we can lay it on the paper and we should be able to trace it out and it should appear on our bottle. I'm going to line it up. And now I'm just going to trace it on. Now I can see the blast on the bottle. I'm not sure how well it turned out on camera, but I can see it pretty good. So I'm going to take my black marker and I'm just going to fill it in. Okay, so now it's all filled in. I'm really happy with it. Um, I didn't want it to be perfect because it's not perfect in the one on the Kirkland's website. So I really love how it turned out looking. Now we're going to go and we're going to distress some of these little ridges that's in these bottles. Maybe hit some of these little um, lines that are in here and some of the ridges on our cross. My favorite way to do this, anyone who's been with me a while knows that I like to use old eyeshadow. I find that I have better control with it than I do with paint so we're going to take and use a pretty stiff brush with this and we're going to just dip it in and then we're going to go and we're going to hit those areas and and do some highlights on it kind of give it some distressing And now it's finished. We have our distressing on there. It highlights our cross. I dirtied up our bless some so that it looked more like the one on the Kirkland's website. I am so pleased with this. I love it. They have a white flower in there. I think they have a rose. I have some white roses around here somewhere, but I have this floral that I had picked up at a thrift store when I was out with Kay. And I love this. So I think that that works perfect. I think that is the perfect little touch to our little vase. So let's take it downstairs, put it in place, and see how we like it. So there's our blessed flower vase sitting in its place. Actually, that's not the exact place it's gonna be. I knew that I wanted to put it on this built-in in my living room, and I wanted it on the shelf with that butterfly because that butterfly has been on that shelf by himself for several years now, and I thought it needed something else and I actually love how it looks together. The actual shelf that it'll be on is much higher up. I couldn't comfortably record it without um, it, you being at a severe angle. So I just decided to set it down on this shelf so that you'd be able to get a good look at it and then I will move it up. I am so pleased with how this project turned out. I love the whole look of it. I think that we definitely have the same feel as the Kirkland's one. It may not be exactly like it. I know my bottle is shaped differently, but it is still a decorative bottle and it still has that same kind of feel that that one has. You can use any bottle that you would like to use. I would suggest that it has a flat side on it so that you'll be able to get your cross on there and get your wording on. I hope I've given you some ideas and maybe some inspiration to do some dupes of your own. If you do, we would love to see pictures. Please drop us a comment down below and let us know if you make one of these or what you guys are up to. What are y'all making right now? We hope that you will come back and visit us often. We will be here on Saturday with Craft Chat. We hope that you'll join us for that. On Mondays, we have Made It Mondays. Tuesday are Tutorial Tuesdays. On Wednesday, Kay comes in with Wednesdays, when life gives you lemons, make something sweet. And then I'm always back on Thursdays with Trash to Treasure. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.